Okay, guys, so this is an update video on Lucky Stock, the Chinese version of Starbucks. So I mentioned in my earlier video, guys, that Lucky Stock had crashed down to $4 and that I thought it was uh, a void for me. I thought that this stock was not a stock that I wanted to touch at all. I wanted to wait and see if the stock would go much lower. And it turns out that trading was actually halted on this stock on the NASDAQ. So, yes, the NASDAQ froze trading of luck in shares right now so as of recording this video i don't have much news on uh when the the trade halt or when the the trade freeze will be lifted but it doesn't look good guys so let's just quickly go into things now i got a lot to talk about when it comes to lucky coffee and also share you guys with a bunch of research that i've been doing which says that perhaps this is a recurring trend going on in china uh, how china is pumping up uh, these fraudies and selling the shares to American investors and an ongoing scam that's been going on for many years, guys. So let's get to it first. News is that trading has been on Lucky Coffee stock over to Nasdaq.com. Give you guys a definition. So it says trading halt when trading of a stock bond option or futures contract is stopped by an exchange while news is being broadcast about the security. So obviously this news being broadcast about luck and stock is simply because of all the fraud and all done by the CEO and uh, executives in the company of how they were basically fabricating sales and lying to investors guys so this stock actually if you go over here is another good site Nasdaq trader and we go down to luck and coffee we can see that the stock was halted and pre-market trading uh, on April 7th so as of recording this video the stock has been frozen for one day and we don't know when the stock is coming back so I heard some people say it might be a month uh, we're not really sure and I'm gonna update you guys on when trading will come back so if you guys did buy luck in stock right now uh, you're stuck with their shares there's really nothing you can do and I'm not gonna lie to you guys uh, basically seeing as how many lawsuits are coming out uh, how bad the news is, the fact that uh, NASDAQ, the SEC are investigating deeply in this company. It could happen that this company could face bankruptcy and you could lose your money. So guys, let's check out a, another article that talks about how Lucky Coffee stock might actually become delisted. So if we head over to valuewalk.com, we see Starbucks of China could soon be delisted over fraud allegations. So it talks uh, the shares were halted and there's really no news on when trading will be resumed. So this is all over basically a margin call that where uh, an investment company has defaulted. They put up a lot of shares as collateral for the loan. And now where the stock price has crashed now, now there's a lot of problems. So Goldman Sachs, they want to dump these shares and they're basically uh, – a lot of money has been tied up here guys and really what the problem is is that this just looked like a big scam to begin with the numbers were being uh, fabricated and a lot of people were actually shorting this stock in anticipation that the sales were being lied up, uh, fabricated so there had been a I believe there had been a article or some type of uh, kind of uh, release document in January talking about how Luck and Coffee had been fabricating their sales and lying about revenue and things like that. So as you can see here, it says short seller Jim Canos told CNBC he did have a short position of Luck and Coffee earlier this year, having taken it after Muddy Water Carson's published this, his thesis. However, Chanos closed the position on Thursday. The company revealed that it had turned $310 million in fabricated sales. So guys, there was this basically this uh, letter floating around about how Lucky Coffee was dealing a lot of frauds. So that's why a lot of short sellers picked up a position now. So now the biggest problem is, is that the executive is on for margin call. He's lost a lot of money. And now the NASDAQ has frozen this stock and we don't really know what else is going on. So, but one of the problems is, is that this definitely could face delisting. So it says China Daily reports that Lucky Coffee faces a possibility of delisting after reporting the fabricated sales. It says Dong 
Jianzhen of Wuhan University of Science, Technology, Finance, Securities told the news outlet, in addition to delisting, the company may face a class action lawsuit filed by shareholders. The result of the lawsuit could go even as far to bankruptcy. In addition to civil compensation, Dong said the company could also be saddled with criminal and administrative fines. Further, the employees found to have fabricated the sales could even go to prison. Luckin Coffee said last week it has suspended the employees that were involved. So, that's a lot of terrible news going on here. And this is definitely, I hope you guys, uh, if you guys thought that this was like a good stock to buy, uh, you know, I've been, I've been basically following buying and selling stocks basically since I would say my senior year in high school. So I graduated high school in 2005. So this is basically like my 15th year of dealing with the markets and stuff like that. And one of the things I've learned is, is that uh, when you're dealing with people fabricating sales and things like that. This is very, very serious business. The role of management is to return value to shareholders. So if they are lying about sales, then they have an ulterior motive. That usually means that there's a big scam and that they are thinking about their own personal interest. They're not worried about the shareholders. So you really want to make sure you're investing in companies where management is sound and honest and working for you. In this example, management is working against you. So you don't want to invest in this type of company. You know, guys, owning stock is not just a ticker on a screen that's flashing up and down. You own a portion of a real business. So when you buy Luckin shares, you own a small portion of Luckin Coffee, the entire business. So you don't want to invest in companies where the management is, is doing things like this. This is not good for you as an investor. You want to invest in companies where the management is working hard and honest and, and doing everything they can to return value to you. So let's go over uh, another thing about how that this is actually a recurring theme in China. So here's another article posted on CCN. It talks about the luck and coffee fraud hold Beijing accountable. And as you can see here, it talks more about this. It says, Luckin is just one of a long line of fraudulent Chinese companies that are plaguing U.S. exchanges. It says the Chinese Communist Party is ultimately responsible for these crimes and creating the enabling environment for scams. So it talks a bit more about this. You can guys to read this in depth, but I want to get right into the meat and bones of it. It says, Luckin Coffee, a multi-billion dollar Starbucks copy is the latest Chinese scam to plague U.S. exchanges. It talks more about this, but check this out, guys. They also mentions this documentary. It's called The China Hustle. Now, this was something new to me. I, you know, I knew a bit about how uh, China was well known for kind of these flimsy companies that end up as ADRs and ADSs on U.S. exchanges. And a lot of them, you know, I've been tracking these Chinese stocks for years. A lot of these stocks don't really do much. But to keep things short, it says basically Magnolia Pictures produced a documentary film called The China Hustle. It depicts systematic securities. Fraud, where American investment banks routinely hype up Chinese companies and market them to American investors, only later find, to later find out that the companies are scams. This is something that's been going on for a long time, and it's no longer no secret. According to the documentary, these companies have collectively stolen more than $200 million over a decade. The Luck and Coffee is the latest Chinese company to exploit America's unwillingness to hold Beijing accountable for these crimes. So, guys, uh, you can take a look at uh, some... Of, of these uh, articles that talk a bit more about uh, this so-called documentary, the Chinese hu China Hustle. And if we go to Wikipedia, I can show you guys a little bit of information on this documentary. As you can see here, it talks about how the document depicts a systematic securities fraud that continues to occur in the U.S., where small and nondescript Chinese companies are hyped up and sold by American investment banks to U.S.-based investors. Many of the film's protagonists are activist shareholders and due diligence, due diligence professionals who discovered the fraud and subsequently short-sold the toxic stock in order to bring about the collapse of the fraudulent entities. So guys, this is so much bigger than uh, luck in stock. This is an ongoing problem that's been going on for quite some time. And, uh, you know, it's about time that the SEC and the U.S. government has done something about this. Uh, these Chinese companies, they, the Americans are pretty naive when it comes to how business works in China. There's a lot of solid businesses in China. The, the couple that would come off the uh, top of my head right now would be obviously a company like Alibaba, which Alibaba is, you know, does even more revenue volume than Amazon does. Uh, Alibaba is basically like 
uh, the Chinese version of Amazon. So there are big reputable companies out there in China, but there's a lot of scammy ones that end up on the U.S. stock exchanges. And because of the time difference, because of the cultural difference, I think a lot of uh, American investors, they don't really understand uh, how China runs a lot of these companies. You know, In China, it's a very large population, and a lot of these companies are scams. A lot of these American investment banks know that these Chinese companies have fraudulent books and they don't care. Uh, they're basically up there to hawk these shares to American investors. American investors, you know, don't really, have never been to China, don't know a lot about the company itself, don't understand the culture difference and stuff like that. And of course the Chinese Communist Party as well. So they end up investing a lot of money into these companies, but a lot of times these companies I mean, I mean, the whole situation was sketchy. I believe the company grew to like said they grew to four thousand five hundred stores in less than two years. I mean, how is that even possible? You know, it just the whole thing is just was just a big mess. So, guys, you know, I would say this is a big lesson. You know, when it comes to investing in foreign stocks, you have to be very, very careful because it's not like buying Tesla. It's not like buying Amazon or something like this. This is a completely different country with a completely different set of rules. So when you're investing in these ADSs and the ADRs, you have to really, really do your due diligence. And like I said, easy come, easy go. The fact that luck in stock, you know, if we take a look at the chart here, and we just take a look at this stock chart, and we can see, um, yes, when, when luck in IPO'd, we can see that, you know, as fast as it had run up, you know, it ran up all the way to $50 a share in, a, in like six months based on this explosive growth. Usually it's easy come, easy go. So when you're dealing with these types of companies, you know, a lot of these, a lot of these scammers and investment bankers, they ended up shorting and buying put options when the stock was at $50. And then a lot of innocent people ended up losing their money. So guys, uh, stay tuned. I'm going to post some more content on luck and coffee uh, when I get some more news about the trading halt but things don't look good and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if this company is obviously delisted it, this definitely does not belong on the NASDAQ because I, I don't want more investors to get hurt and lose their money because they don't really understand what's going on with the company so I don't have anything against people that buy luck and coffee I'm pretty sure luck and coffee is good I you know I heard it's much cheaper than Starbucks I you know I've seen a lot of people flooding in there using their coupons to support the company I'm not talking about the consumer this is simply talking about management I'm, a, I'm attacking the management of luck and coffee and I've been reading some comments some people say they don't care about the management and they just care about getting a cheap cup of coffee well you know it's connected you know if the management is poor even though the coffee's cheaper and things like that it's just not good for for global for global business it, we, don't, we don't need a lot of scammy companies going around uh, doing fraudulent matters like that. If people are going to do things like that, then they don't need to be trading on major stock exchange. You can simply go OTC over the counter, and if you don't want to keep your books in order, it's a much better place for you. But when you're on the NASDAQ or something like that, you're putting the reputation of the NASDAQ online. So now a lot of people that bought luck in stock, they basically lost everything. Now they're the, now they have a bad association with the NASDAQ and maybe they don't want to ever invest in stocks again. Maybe some people invested in luck in stock, they lost their life savings or their retirement money. We don't know. So yeah, so that's, that's about it guys. I want to wrap this video up because I know there's going to be a lot more news that's coming out when we find out what's going on with this trade halt and will you be able to either sell your shares if you already own them or perhaps buy more. But like I said, it's basically the third video that I've recorded on Luck and Coffee and at the end of every video uh, this is a sell for me I'm staying away from this stock I wouldn't even wouldn't have even considered buying it if, unless it was around two dollars two to three dollars anyway and the fact that trading has been halted I, I would expect that this stock could be heading towards one dollar maybe even penny stocks so if it gets delisted it's gonna end up on the pink sheets and then they'll probably just lose basically lose most of your money anyway but we don't know so 
you know, I don't want to be too pessimistic here. I'm waiting for more information. So I'll be sure to update you guys in the latest video. So thank you so much for watching. And please smash the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos on Lucky Coffee, other Chinese stocks, and the stock market in general. And have you gotten your free stocks? Be sure to check the links to Robinhood and Webull in the description. Get a free share of stock with Robinhood and three free shares of stock with Webull if you sign up and open an account by April 16th. So that's it for now, guys. Until next time, take care.